guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. And guys, Tesla is down a whopping 21% in the past month. So we're going to be talking about what's going on. Will it ever recover? I'm giving you guys my honest opinion. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of it, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, new to the team, we talk about everything money, stocks, money management, trading, investing. So subscribe, join the team. And if you guys want to learn more about investing, swing trading. I just released a brand new course and you guys can use code YouTube to get 20% off. So I'll put that down below. So let's dive into this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. All right. So like I said, in the past month alone, Tesla stock has fallen about 21%. Now the reason why we've gotten so much sell off recently from Tesla is because Tesla came out and they released an earnings report. And earnings is when they give you all the fundamentals, the revenue, the cash flow, the net profit margin about Tesla stock. Now, <sighs> Tesla didn't do very well. The only increase they had was actually in the revenue, but they fell below expectations on the net profit margin and a variety of other things causing the stock to get annihilated, selling off near and around 6% that single day alone. But one of the most important things when it comes to evaluating a company and a stock is something called the net profit margin. This is how much cash is left over after expenses. And this has been falling a ton recently with Tesla. The reason why is because they've been cutting prices of their cars. And what happens when you cut prices, it comes from somewhere and it comes from the net profit margin that normally Tesla would have, but recently they've been cutting because of high inflation rates. But as of today, Tesla stock has fallen about 4.5%. So something major is going on inside the business today. Well, actually Panasonic came out who is Tesla's lead battery cell provider and they have been seeing sluggish demand. Now, when you see that, this is gonna cause massive amount of sell-off. Now, anytime you have that type of announcement, you're gonna cause panic, you're gonna cause sell-off because why would people invest right now into Tesla if we're seeing missed revenue, missed profit margin, and on top of that, their lead battery cell provider is seeing slowish and sluggish demand this is going to cause sell-off. This is going to cause fear. This is going to cause emotion in Tesla stock. And that's why we've gotten so much sell-off. Now on the positives for Tesla stock, they're rated to deliver near and around 2.3 million vehicles, which is still a 500,000 vehicle increase year over year, which is actually really solid to see. But I always think it's always smart to look at some of the charting to get a general gauge of where you should buy Tesla stock, you know, on a support line or undervalued. Well, looking at it here, you guys will see we did get a breakdown of that $200 support. Now, the next support we're seeing is near and around $180. Now, a lot of analysts think that this thing is going to fall a lot more, all the way down to about $150. But either way, for me, I'm a huge Tesla bull. I love Tesla. I definitely think we're seeing sluggish demand. We're seeing a variety of things just because of high inflation, high interest rates. That alone is going to put pressure and nerves on Tesla. Looking at another vehicle company like Ford, Ford has been getting annihilated for very similar things, such as missed revenue, and they've actually sold off over 12% in a single day. So we're seeing a lot of volatility right now among the auto companies just because of inflation and interest rates. Now, answering that main question, am I buying it? Well, absolutely. I'm sure you guys know I'm a huge Tesla bull. I constantly buy Tesla as it sells off. You know, I just think that looking back in two, five, 10 years, we're gonna be wishing we would have bought Tesla stock just because Tesla is more than just an automobile company. They're a leader in electric vehicles. They're a leader in autonomous driving, software, data, AI, technology. And I just think it's a fun pick. It's a growth stock. So I'm not heavy into it. It's definitely under 5% of my portfolio, but it's still enough shares to make money if this thing squeezes up. But if you guys are nervous about investing into Tesla, I definitely think a good strategy would be to dollar cost average it. Dollar cost averaging, what you do is you invest consistently rather than dumping a whole bunch of money up front. The reason why this is a great strategy is because if Tesla sells off, you're just averaging down your costs. So once it recovers, your average cost is so low that you make a lot more money. It's a great way to invest in the growth stocks and stocks with a little more volatility. But guys, that's what's going on with Tesla. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys later. Take care.